Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel Beyond 50 Plus Beauty. And once again, today we are going to be revealing the July Ipsy bag. Now I have um, taken a peek at it, but I have not used the products and I don't have anything in my face right now other than the moisturizer and the sunscreen. So from foundation to everything, let's see what's available in this bag and then we will put um, together a look. Now the theme for July, theme for July is this bag, Stay Golden. It says Stay Golden and stays right here. So the, the way they describe it is so cute. The way they describe it is, um, it says, inspired by sparkling blue waters, bronzer and warm breezes, these golden bags, with pops of blue topaz, like you can see the blue, and I love that combination. <laughs> Are a reminder to shine everywhere you go. I mean, the, I mean the bag itself is. I always say this. It's damn cute. You know, it's a good storage and it's a good traveling. If I want, if I wear it, I'm on. So, let's start, shall we? Going to start with a product for the process of this putting this look together with a primer that came with the Ipsy bag. And that is the, it's a Tarte uh, Sea Quench Hydrating Primer. ...of amino acids and marine plant extracts um, that help reduce the look of lines and wrinkles so the makeup lays evenly without creasing or caking let's give it a try and see what it does i love tart products i mean they're all good so it's brand new i haven't opened it you can see it's still sealed i'm opening in front of you and i'm actually going to try this in front of you and let's see i'm just gonna In the Tarte website, this full size retails for $32. So it's nice to try these sample sizes out before knowing whether it is, whether you really want to buy it or not. And once again, this is just one way. And I love this EPC bags. Honestly, it is customized for you based on your profile, what you put down. So it's customized for you. So that was my starter um primer then let's see whether they have a foundation or not in here this is a koki um, foundation i've never tried it so i'm gonna try it for the first time with you so let's see it's supposed to pull up there you go and it has a little pump so i like to use this at the back of my hand. I'm not 100% sure whether this color would match or not, but I'm going to try. So, I have my e.l.f. blender, beauty blender, that I'm going to use, and I'm going to try this foundation today. I'll build it up, promise, but right now I just want to Just gonna what, take off the remaining um, thing that I have and just apply it gently on my cheeks. I'm trying to cover these up as much as possible. Now again, I like foundation that are skin like that way. It really doesn't look like you are made up. Like you know, you're still retaining your as normal as possible and you can see with the beauty blender all i'm doing is actually just um, um what do you call it tapping and really as gently as possible in some places some places pressing it so that it they don't look 
cakey and unfinished and um, you know just needs to be nice and blended all right and that's that stick with and this foundation is okay and I like the feel of it finishes matte I like matte finish if um, I like putting con con concealer for under the eye and uh, like it a bit tad lighter than the um, foundation. Today I'm going to be using, I'm a big fan of ELF, the e.l.f. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. HD Light, HD Lifting Concealer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. That's in the color light. Um, your concealer just needs to be a ta uh, you know it can be like lighter than your um, um, foundation just so I think it diffuses light and it just feels damn good I love using this little one for the little beauty thing for the concealer so here it goes So for the eyebrows, I have a very interesting um, brow pencil or an item. <laughs> it's it's a, here it is. This is called a brow chow. It's an ultra fine brow definer, and the, they have four colors in their uh, website. If you look at it, and this is the uh, last dark one that they have, deep brunette. I don't know whether it's gonna match or not, but I'm gonna try it. So I think this is the one I chose and then they fill you up the remaining. <laughs> the interesting piece about this is it's got a tiny, tiny, if you can see a tiny little little brush at the end. So that kind of, uh, you could do comb your uh, brush. So here you go, see? So this is how I'm going to do this. I kind of like it and then I'm going to fill it out with the other end and the other end looks like this so I'm gonna take this now I don't know whether it's going to stay on that is something that I'm going to experiment with when you got when you buy an Ulta um, I uh, eyeshadow palette they give you this brush I like to use this brush just to put the outer crease I am not using a eye primer today normally um, I already use that one of that primer so I'm going to just not use another primer today for my eyes and usually they stay for me I don't have that kind of a problem that it doesn't stay so I'm gonna try
I'm going to be using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio in Bold Brown. This color, I'm just going to dab it in the bottom. I a uh, sample that I also I think I bought with the Ipsy bag which is the it lash out lash blow out it lash blow out so basically I'm just gonna peel it in front of you and see how this works I think my favorite mascara still stands the tart that I received in the FC bag. I like to remove as much as possible. In fact, the whole thing, I just take out the whole thing. That way. I have this e.l.f. Um, powder, which is in medium. For the uh, overall face, again, choosing the matte theme, um, Rimmel Stay Matte in, this one is a, this one is transparent. Actually, this is a mistake I made this time, brought transparent, but normally I, I bring something closer to my skin tone. This time, I don't know, I think it wasn't there, so when I went, I had to get this. Bronzer, this is, the, I have shown this before, El, um, the Elf's four-part bronzer. Going to use my favorite brush, which is a Shina B for the contour using the darkest today so for the blush you must have guessed it my favorite <laughs> milani summer passion that came in the last ipsy bag and that is going to be the same brush
For the highlighter, I do have a highlighter that they put it in the bag this month. It is by Sugar Cosmetics in the color Metal Metal. It's a mini highlighter. And um, this highlighter actually retails uh, for, in their website, it retails for $10.99. So I just want to show you when I open it, it's like this. And I think it's a very... It's a very rich color. And I'm going to take this out. I'm going to use my hand as my finger and highlight in the points. And I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to leave them there. It's a really sweet highlighter. I mean, I really like it. Um, it's gold. It's, of course, fitting with the theme. On the tip of your nose. I really like this. I feel like it's more appropriate um, for a wedding, <laughs> maybe. I feel like that, but it's really beautiful. It's uh, once again, it's metal metal. My sugar cosmetics, and this is how it comes in a mini packaging. That's beautiful. I like it fitting with this theme. Um, the last thing I need to do is the lipstick. And uh, then I will talk about the remaining products. Now the lipstick. I'm going to use the NYX New Truffle Lip Liner. I'm going to uh, use the ELF um, Pretty Penny. It's a metal matte liquid lipstick. It's not exactly golden that I want, but it is close. That's It's like it's got a warm like a yellow uh, orangish And that finishes the look. I will be right back. So here is the finished look. Let me know what you think in comments. Uh, let me know which products you liked. Um, out of these that I have applied, do you do do you use the same products? If so, please let me know how it feels. So the only thing that new I have used is a primer, and the foundation is new, uh, and the eyebrows. Um, I'm very pleased with that. It. It's, um, it's looking really nice. It's very easy to apply. The foundation is uh, not bad. Like if you touch the skin, it just feels like it's just skin. There's nothing there, which is what I like. I'm still not done with the HC bag. We still have two more products to go through. So let's do that. It's the Pure Lease, uh Watermelon Plus Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. Um... Gently cleanses skin, removes makeup, purifies, and energizes. I'm going to use that today. Now, again, this is a definitely a sample product. Their full product is for $18 in their website. There is one more in here. It is the, it's the Lash Lane. I'm sorry if I butchered the name. But it's a hand cream, coconut uh, milk hand cream. The size of that retails for $9.50. So that is something I can tell you if it, let me open it up. I mean, you can see it's still sealed. I just wanted to try it on. Ooh, it's really thick. Hmm. 
it's really uh, it's got the coconut smell but not too overpowering or anything it's very mild now again if you if you are what somebody that cannot stand smell <laughs> this man this all these may not be for you i like it it's very mild very mild and i this hand cream is good for winter i would say because it's so thick you know in the winter when your skin dries a lot as i like to apply it on my um i like to apply it on my elbows and i like to apply it on my uh, hands in the winter look at this this is so dry but i feel like this is really very hydrating so you can use it for winter that uh, completes the ipsy july bag stay golden <laughs> that was a theme i can wait to see what comes in the august bag now if you like the content that i'm providing here with the new product information and doing the makeup with you and um, all of this if you find value for it um, please do give it a like and thumbs up and very soon i will be back with another video please let me know in comments what do you think and provide any kind of feedback it would be very helpful i really thank you for your support and i love you and i will see you soon in another video